What's going on, everybody? If you like me, your Waves plugins uh, were not working in Logic Pro. The new V10 Waves plugins were no longer being found in Logic. Um, Pro, I tried it in Pro Tools, didn't have a problem. I tried all my other plugins, and it was fine. It was just Waves only. I don't want to make this video too, too long because I hate super long YouTube videos on tutorials. So I'm just going to show you all really quick the solution. So if you go on their site or even look at the YouTube videos on here, everybody's going to say, go to your library, which to get there, you're in Finder, right? You hit go, hold down option. You see our library pops up right there? Option. Okay. So you hit option, click on library, and you'll get to this screen that I'm at now. Again, I'm trying to make this quick for you. All right, so basically everybody says to come here to preferences, drag the waves preferences on the desktop, come back to cache, clear the cache out, all this different stuff like that. Um, if, I mean, I recommend trying that first. The reason why I'm here making this video is because that did not work for me. And no matter how many times I came into Logic and I kept trying to find the, um, the plugin manager, and I kept trying to find it. Like, this is the weird thing. So I'll let Logic launch, and then I'll show you guys what happened. Basically, I'm just doing an empty project to get to the plugin manager. And we'll just, whatever, sampler is fine. Okay, so, you know, obviously you go here, you add your audio units. Audio units. These are all my different plugins from different people. Waves was not here at all. So I kept going, like everybody said, to the uh, preferences under Logic Plugin Manager right here. Logic Preferences Plugin Manager. Kept going here, and you see how everything else is validated. Da 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 da. Of course, Apple stuff is validated. Everybody else was on here, validated just fine. Every other one, right? Now the weird thing was. Waves was still showing up right here, but none of this, like everything was like, cannot launch, cannot launch, cannot launch. Now, with the new V10 uh, upgrade on Waves, you can have V9 and V10 of two different plugins. You can't have it of the same plugin. So I could have like the Abbey Roads, uh, I think that's the reverb one that I have as a V9, and have like this compressor at a V10, but you can't have two Abbey Roads at V9. That makes sense, obviously, but this the problem was I kept going back to Wave Central. Everything was saying 10. All my licenses, everything was saying 10. But Logic was showing 9 point something right here. 9.9, 9, 9 point whatever it was right here, which was weird because I knew that I kept downloading 10. So I'm going to show you how to get around that, right? Because I kept restarting the computer and all that frustrated. Waves... They're backed up with customer service right now. So long story short, go to your library, click on instead of preferences or cache, you're going to go down and click audio. This I just found on myself by myself. So I went to audio, click on plugins. This is obviously all your Apple loops and all that. Boom. Right here. I saw the waves logo. I recognize that because if you see my trash, I had, I completely discarded anything having to do with waves, like anything having to do with them just to see if it would, if it would help. So the problem that I was running into after I deleted this, you see how it says 10.0 bundle, which is what it's supposed to say. Mine kept showing up with that wave show 9.91, which yours probably is too, or some later one, that, earlier one that you had. But it doesn't just, even if you move that, that doesn't solve the problem. Because right here, VST3, it had Wave Shell 9.91 or 9.93 that I just showed you. It all has to say 10. Now, when you clear out your cache or when you use the Wave Central, that's what it's not doing. It doesn't come in here and move everything for you. So you have to physically come in here, make sure every instance of this Wave Shell, if it doesn't say 10, which is an update, make sure all of them that say 9 point whatever are erased. Put them in your trash. You can leave them there if you want or just empty your trash. I didn't empty mine just in case, but um, yeah, so VST, VST3. This, I moved the entire folder down to the trash. I wasn't taking any chances. And then lastly, components, also right here. That was where I found it to begin with, was right here. Ah, 
sorry, clicked the wrong thing. I'm trying to make the window bigger for you, right? This was not here. This was nine point whatever. So once you make sure that you go to your library, which again, finder, go, hold down your option button there or alt key, whatever you want to call it. There goes your library. Get to your library. Go straight to library. <laughs> go to audio, plugins, and check, like erase this. Go to your components, erase the old bundles. And then, once you're done with all that, you should be good to go. For those that need additional help, um, all you gotta do is come back to your Wave Central, which you can just, it'll be automatically on your computer. It should be, if not, you have to download it, but it should already be on your computer if you have Waves. Wave Central, which mine is already open. I'm just showing you how to get to it. Um, it's going to show up like this. Easy install and activate. Install products. Manage licenses. Um, it will show you it has an update. So that's, again, I already went through the whole process. Um, when I was at this point frustrated and the stuff wasn't working, I had already did all of this. But it'll show up up here and then you can update to 10 um, if you want to. If you have the package, you might as well but the upgrade package, but um, yeah. So in order to easy install and activate, you have to have it in your cloud. If it's not there, what you do is go to licenses, manage licenses. You're gonna take it from your computer. All you gotta do is hit select all, and then you would move it to the cloud. Once it's on the cloud, you can go and use the easy install and activate. If you don't want to go through all that, it's not that much steps, but if you don't want to go through all that, just click install products online and then move everything. Just click move all one time and it'll bring everything right here, which then you can install. So that's how you know it's installed and activated. So that's what I'm saying. I kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, making sure it's installed and activated and it still wasn't working. So, um, yeah, that's how you go about it. Again, all you got to do. Make sure all your bundles say 10 under audio and plugins. Um, and once that's done, you come back to your Wave Central, install everything. So you can either use the easy install and activate, or you can just come to this screen right here and install it. And then you'll be good to go. Once you go back to Logic, everything will show up like normal. And this right here, boom, Waves is right there. I had no clue I had all those Waves plugs in, plugins um, until I did all of this. But yeah, again, everything else was working except for Waves. And it was only in Logic because Pro Tools worked just fine. So um, I just felt like this video needed to be made because I couldn't find any information um, besides the whole quote clear the cache and move the stuff to the desktop and one guy wanted you to like download some extra bs to your computer after having to boot it um and uh, you know doing the whole firmware boot and all that extra stuff this is just a real simple way um i found this just you know out of frustration and clicking so i wanted to share the info uh my real youtube channel is not gonna be back until i don't know when i make my comeback but I just felt like this info had to be out there. You see it's already 11 o'clock at night. So I do apologize for the shaky uh, cell phone video and all of that. But hopefully you found use in this. If you have any other questions or comments, comment below. Like the video. Share the video. Help other people out. Um, and that's it. Take care.